Hello and welcome everybody to the Phoenix and Glitchy Talk Shit Show. We're back again, and this t this time today's topic is motion con. Oh, go ahead. Motion controls and how obnoxious they are. Yeah, because frankly, they're pretty fucking obnoxious in a lot of cases. Like seriously, I've seen them <sighs> used. I've seen them used in cool ways. Yeah, sometimes um, they can be totally fantastic and amazeballs, and it's like the best fucking smoothest thing ever. But then there's other yeah. cases where it's just like, I'm going to rip my fucking hair out. And, and the thing is, is like, sometimes they're well done and they're useful. For some, for an example, mm. Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy Two and for the Wii. Those. It's really useful because you can just wiggle the Wiimote and <laughs> he'll do this. Do a spin move, or <laughs> or you can use the pointer, use like pointing the Wii remote at the screen. I've got an inappropriate story about a Wii remote that I found out from a friend, a former friend of mine. Oh God. We'll talk about um, that later. But you know, we, you point it at the screen and you can collect stuff that way. You can actually give it to an another friend and they can, you know, direct certain aspects of it while you're playing. Basically, a cooperative thing. And that's a great way. But, something that developers need to think though, is that not everybody has the stamina for long periods of motion control gameplay. I am physically unable for long periods of time. Right. Um, and it will eliminate the ability for me to play certain games. For an ex for example, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. The level of motion controls in that game. I'm guessing these are Wii games? Yeah, it's a Wii game. It was an example of a motion control one that I just mm. thought of. Um, the way Skyward Sword worked was your Wii Remote was your sword. And oh, you fuck. had to, instead of just wiggling it back and forth, like in Twilight Princess, you, you actually had slash. to do full body, and in different directions, too. It wasn't just this way, or, you know, this way, or this way. It was horizontal, vertical, all of the above. <laughs> I played it, I played it for an hour, and my arms hurt so bad, I thought they were gonna fall off. Oh no, that's terrible. I, I never finished <gasps> You want to talk about stupid motherfucking motion controls, I literally just thought of this. Embarrassing motion controls that you are required to perform whilst playing certain games and you're in a public setting. Say a plane, a train, a bus, there's other people around in close quarters. Having to blow into your fucking microphone on your goddamn 3DS. Bitch, I know that Cooking Mama is supposed to be fucking like actual simulated cooking, but sweet Fucking Christ, don't make me flip my goddamn DS like I'm flipping an actual fucking frying pan. Don't make me sit there and blow on a bitch to cool some shit down. Okay. Don't, don't sit here and make me go. <laughs> or <laughs> it's not Lamar's training. I got to say, I love, <gasps> I love the Cooking Mama games. I love them too, but oh my God. Kind of a, it's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine, but here's the thing. <sighs> Rage face. What is wrong with making motion controls optional? Exactly. That you would know, make things so could, much easier. If you could toggle them on and off in the options menu, because I have to admit, there are merits to motion controls. Yeah, there, there are, are elderly, there are definitely, you know, you know some they have, merits. They have Wii Fit and like Wii motion Fuck things. Wii Fit! That bitch is a bitch. <laughs> well, but but they have those in like um, nursing homes, right? Yeah. To keep you know elderly people active, or for kids who need to be active, and they're who interfacing are in hospitals with a game. And whatnot. You know, they're enjoying a game, but they don't. Their parents don't have to feel bad about letting them, their kids play. Yeah. Because they're which, getting exercise. Which that I can totally agree with. I can agree with that. But I mean. <laughs> Can I just say, the first time I ever played a Wii, I did one of those things where you're supposed to... It's supposed to register how old you seem or come across as. 
I got 94 years old. Yeah. Because my hand-eye coordination is so terrible. No, and I no, continuously I also misjudged the range of where the fuck I was supposed to keep the, mo the remote pointed. Now I have to say, I have good hand-eye coordination because I don't, I don't. I've been playing video games for years. And they've actually done studies that say that video games will actually make your hand-eye coordination better. Yeah, well, um, fuck that. It's bullshit. Not, it doesn't always work. Because, I mean, I didn't play, I didn't play, I really didn't play video games ever when I was younger. I mean, I occasionally played Pokemon, but generally I stopped playing those once I'd get certain Pokemon. And because mm -hmm. I got, I constantly got lost. Yes, yeah. people, glitchy bitch, or glitchy here, continuously got lost in Pokemon. Um, but yeah, honestly, make it optional for those of us who may not be physically able. Yeah. You know, it, and in my case, it's not my fault that I'm not able to exercise because I can't do a whole lot of weight bearing because my bones are brittle. It's not my fault. You know, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, so, and we're not saying that the Wii remote is heavy or anything like that. But it boils down to how much stamina a person has, and especially a person in my co-host's condition. You know, and, and it's it, one of those... Make, it, make these goddamn games more accessible to people. Yeah, and, and I'm not saying that there's no room in the gaming industry for these kinds of things, but it would be nice if iconic games like Zelda games and things like that mm. were a little more accessible for people like me who enjoyed the previous ones and now are having a hard time playing them because there's so much physical mm -hmm. you know things that Color are involved blue. you know my mother I feel so bad for her because as she's gotten older there's less and less that she can you know physically do because her shoulders are going out, and you know, all these kinds of things. Mm. And there's games she can't play anymore. Series that she really enjoys. I don't think she'd be able to play Xenoverse, honestly. You don't think? Even with a controller, you think? Maybe with a controller, but definitely not PC. Can I, I cannot tell you how much having to hold down certain keys, <laughs> or, or try to switch my fucking fingers around, kills me. Like, my hands start cramping and all this shit. And I've got some bit of, um, I've got some bit of issues with my wrists and my joints. And, you know, a lot of that is to do with the, how much I, 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 that's what I did when I was a kid. When I, I, because I didn't play video games. Like I said, I watched anime. I wrote. Dude, when I discovered the, that I was allowed to write. I'm, I'm so stupid. I was such a stupid kid. Because there was things I just assumed I wasn't allowed to do like writing my own books I thought that was something only adults were allowed to do and only I know shut up Phoenix I know <laughs> I know okay I was a really ditzy kid <sighs> there were things that I either just didn't think about at all or I thought too much about and Ended up just not doing them because I thought you'd get in trouble for this, that, or the other. My childhood was garbage. But, yeah, I, w I thought that I wasn't allowed to. And my parents, honestly, my parents let me think a lot of that stuff. And see, that, that's just bullshit. Mm-hmm. To do, to do that to the kid, that's just bullshit. Um... This actually, there's another aspect to this control scheme problem. Mm. Let's move on from motion controls to controls that are just plain bad. Yes. Um, which I'm gonna get on my soapbox for a minute. Dark Souls. Oh, everybody, fucking Dark Souls. Everybody loves fucking Dark Souls. And all the games like fucking Dark Souls. Well, let me tell you something. In a game where you're supposed to be able to do fluid combat, where there's such an emphasis on dodging at the right time and attacking at just the right time and at just the right way, the controls are fucking terrible. Yeah. They're clunky as fuck, and I'm sorry, but if you want me to fluidly dodge and then slice, 
make it to where when I hit the dodge button, I dodge. And then when I hit the attack button, I attack. Don't make me wait four hours for the dude to fucking get off his ass. <laughs> if you want it to be fluid, make the controls fluid. Yeah. If not, don't act like your shitty ass controls is just to make the game more difficult. Fuck you. Fuck you. you. Can make, Dark Souls you is can, difficult as as enough as is, so... You can make games more difficult without making the controls shitty. Can I just interrupt really quickly? I love Eric. I love Eric from Inquisition. Oh my god. 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 Eric is awesome. He literally just said on Thraste's knickers to me. And that's actually a good example of good control. I will say that for the most part, I love everything about Dragon Age Inquisition. One thing I don't fucking like is that I can't swim. I think we've mentioned this in previous videos, maybe, or just between you and I ranting on our downtime. I, I can't swim. I walked into some water thinking, oh, I'll just swim across this fucking lake. It, it's not that far. Boom! Suddenly I'm, everything's blacked out and I'm back on the shore where I started and I'm like, hey? Schmur? And yes, I am taking that word, or not taking it, but I'm borrowing it from the wonderful and amazing Superwoman here on YouTube. I, I, Superwoman, I, I. She's fucking amazing and when she says schmur, it's like the best thing ever. It's the funniest thing and she's awesome. It's awesome. So if you haven't checked her out already and you don't know who she is, where the fuck have you been? Go check her out. Random shout out. But one thing, I like I said, I don't like that I can't swim. And I don't like that I can't change the camera position when closing rifts or conversing with people. I'd like to see both our faces. And actually, when you're conversing with certain people, um, you can move the camera. Yeah, in, in um. certain instances, yeah, but like not all of them. It, it's really kind of flip-flop. A, a lot of the times in certain aspects, you know, certain controls. And but like I said, one of the things is I can't I can't swim. And and as far as I know, I can't ride a dragon. God damn it. No. Um one thing that I will give Dragon Age Inquisition. The combat is meant to be fluid and it is. It is. Fluid. Oh my god, it is so fluid until you get stuck behind your party. Well <laughs> that. Um which and the AI, the, the AI is a little wonky in places. But. A little, a little, a little bit, like, just very little. I get very little trouble with the AI. But other than that, oh, also, I will praise the fact that I can choose between having friendly fire on or off. Yes. That for is amazing. For fuck's sake, for fuck's sake, give that to more games. Give that to fucking Mass Effect! The entire trilogy, go back and put that in the trilogy. Because I know it's it's realistic that there's, you know, friendly fire and, you know... I can't in, in swim actual, in Mass Effect either. I don't think there's actually many opportunities for you to swim in Mass Effect. There, the there are moment. quite a few. and There are quite a few instances where you could possibly, you know, swim in the trilogy, but... But, yeah, you definitely can't. I haven't been able to swim in any Bioware game that I've played now that I think about it. No, they're, they're talking about working on it for the next... Um, Mass Effect and or Dragon Age. It's something that they actually considered um, for Dragon Age, but then there was just so much shit that they were putting in that. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like I feel like I feel like swimming is a a little thing. Yeah, um, and it is until you realize like that you have to do the water physics. Uh, yeah, and and all that kind of shit all thrown in like how does your character float in the water how does the water react to you moving through it right yeah <laughs> but i mean if you want to you know. if you want to worry about that kind of thing you just go off the aspect that it's a fucking creature that can swim yeah um and but that's one of those things it's it's i wouldn't mind swimming with iron bull you know. while there's <laughs> you know one that's one thing that while it is not something you can do in the game. It doesn't get in the way of you enjoying it. This and that's the problem that I had. That's the problem that I have with Dark Souls. Is that the terrible controls get in the way of me being able to enjoy it. Yeah, like I said, I like Dragon Age. I love 
Inquisition. In it's the first Dragon Age game I played, which yeah, you're gonna people are gonna heart me, blah blah blah. What? Why didn't you go for the first one? I didn't have the damn money to buy the first ones, and I didn't buy Inquisition. My bestie did. My co-host. And yeah, people probably think we've mentioned that way too much, but you know what? Fuck you. And to be honest, and... I I encourage Glitchy to play the other two. And if and... I had had the money at the time, I probably would have bought all of them at once. Um, <laughs> I'm honestly but... gonna wait till Christmas time, and then I'm going to buy the first two in like a deluxe Omega whatever the fuck editions. And I will warn you, the controller, the controls for the first one are not as fluid as. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, considering how long ago it came out. Right, but it's still a fantastic game, mm. um, and it's a lot more, it gives you a lot more control over your party members, because you can actually set them to do certain things, mm. which is something that's missing from Inquisition to a degree that I felt like was kind of necessary. Um, mm. Also, but, comment below if anybody else remembers uh, Batman Beyond, the Terry McGinnis Batman arc. Fucking and love that thinks that Cole kind of reminds them of the Scarecrow kid, like the teenage Scarecrow, because you know the hat, or maybe Wizardmon from Digimon to a degree. Cause yeah, I'm getting a very Wizardmon, you know, Scarecrow teenager vibe off of Cole, even though I haven't acquired him yet. He hasn't acquired him yet, and your opinion of him may change. Um, some people like him, some people don't. Yeah. I personally do. I think he's a very interesting character. I'm Especially from what he... I understand, like with how he acts, age, like how he pre seems to be like a child almost. I'd probably find him adorable. And sort of, and, and he's a very interesting character, especially if you've watched. I mean, if you've played all of the games mm. and read the novels related to them, which I haven't uh, actually read. I need to get those. I haven't actually read the book related to Cole yet. I haven't. So been able to wait, there's books for out. every character, like. There's some no. books for Iron Bolt? Maybe? Not every, no, not every character. Oh, of the course only not. ones. What is my shirt doing? Um, there's. Oh, Jesus. There's a couple that, um. And they're actually set at different times. They're like side stories. Mm -hmm. Um, the one I've recently read, which is The Masked Empire, tells you a bit more about Orle, and it's set right before Inquisition. Right. Um, and it's really good. Really fucking good. Um,. And we have gone off the beaten path again. <laughs> um, so I'm going to kind of steer this back a bit. Yes. Um, you know, I, I, I talk a lot of shit about Dark Souls because I am not a fan. I know a lot of people who are, and I understand that you get used to the controls after a while, and some people like it, and that's okay. That's fine. Uh, but I have an issue for some of the games. That I've played in control, control issue wise. I'm sorry, but I am playing a fucking video game with monsters and demons and vampires and ghosts. Don't fucking try to screw me over with stamina. Needing stamina to sprint. I'm looking at you, fucking Skyrim. There you go. Can think of it. Oh yeah, Skyrim. And, uh, and yeah. At least with Skyrim, over time, you can actually give yourself more stamina and yeah, that, but, you know. Um, yeah, but I just think I just think that I don't know. I kind of feel like sprinting should be an automatic thing in a lot of games. If you're gonna put an emphasis on it, make it even more accessible. Yeah. Um, and, and it's really just and these bothers... little these little trotting motions that they make the characters do like it's just kind of not even really sprinting it's just kind of jogging a bit no i'm yeah. sorry there's a difference between jogging and sprinting and that's like if you're wanting me to protect a character or mm. follow them if you're wanting me to follow them or protect them make them move fast enough Holy that shit. i don't leave them behind when i run right um, and don't make them walk off into a fucking area that I can't actually get to. Because they just basically ghosted through something. Yeah. Camera angles, also. Some of some video games have the most obnoxious camera angles. Like uh, Mario Kart. Yeah, and to be entirely honest, you know, there are situations where the camera is a problem. 
and it mm. gets in the way of your enjoyment of the game. Mm -hmm. And I, I will be entirely honest, there are get issues in every game. Yeah, there there, there's are. all kinds of bugs and issues in every game. Some games more than others. I'm looking at you, Assassin's Creed. I'm looking um, at you, fucking EA. You know, but as long as these issues, Sim whatever City. they are, Sim City. whatever these issues are, as long as they don't get in the way of your enjoyment of the game itself, right. unless your game is just fucking broken. Mm -hmm. Yet again, I'm looking at you, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> um, I didn't find Assassin's Creed to be that bad. The newest, the newest I, ones. Well, I played Black Flag. Been, the newest, and, and when Black Flag came out, it was broken as fuck. Like was when it? it was new. Oh yeah, when it was new, it was broken all the fucking pieces. And the one that came after that, uh, Unity, I think. I didn't play Unity. Unity was broken as shit. There was characters that didn't have rendered faces that you could still see the wire. Uh. Seriously? Yeah, there's pictures of it all over the internet. And my thing that's is... That's freaky. And my thing is, that's when you have a problem. When it's getting in the way of your immersion in the game, and it's getting in the way of you being able to enjoy the game. And I'm all for immersion and whatnot in games, but... Stop making me hop around like a goddamn bunny trying to get from one fucking tree branch to another. I'm not Tarzan! I'm looking at you, <laughs> wild... wild... Wild Star. I almost said Wild Stage, but that's in, like a graphic novel. I don't know. I kind of like the uh, platforming stuff. I. The only reason I liked platforming in any respect was when I played. When you and I, and me personally by myself, played Saints Row 4, and that's mostly because mm -hmm. I could just fucking use superpowers and Matrix type shit, so that was fine. But, that was but pretty platforming. Fun. My problem. It becomes a problem for me when. The platforming is A, timed, and B, when your characters, as in you game developers and whatnot, your characters can't actually make the jumps. And, and this is something that, that I need to mention. Let's just get rid of timed shit altogether. Oh, because, sweet baby Jesus, yes, please. Because it's stressful. You know, unless you're trying to speed run something, you know, and there are speed runners out there. Yeah. Personally, I don't, I don't, I don't like speed running. I feel like it takes away my enjoyment of the game because I like to take yeah, my time. Yeah, because I, I feel like there's not a lot of respect for us gamers out there who actually like to take it slow and explore every single inch, or you know, just be casual about it. And, and I'm gonna just totally go back to Dragon Age Inquisition. That is a game that rewards you yes! for searching everything, for <laughs> yes! taking your time. I spent over 150 hours on my first Dragon Age Inquisition playthrough. Yeah. And I got as much as I could possibly find. And I'll probably find things that I missed last time when I played again. I think so too. Well, that's a given fact because things change in these games. Unless you do, like, certain load states or some shit. Yeah. I, I mean, you know... And me personally, also, can I just say, Bioware, you know, I love you guys. I love Mass Effect. I love Inquisition. But this is going to sound so stupid and so anti, like, s woman support. But please give my character, give me an option to make my character's titties and ass at least a little bigger. Because for realsies, I'm not a stick. And I get that, you know, elvins are, elves, elves, sorry, elves are generally, you know, cast as being skinny, but even still, not every single elf out there is going to be a skinny little fucking stick with no tatas and no booty. I mean, bitches, there's elves in, you know, cities that eat, eat different things. There's, you know, elves that might come be born with blood sugar problems, or I'm thinking way too into this, but these are fucking valid excuses that can be used for you to let me have my character have some bigger titties. I, and, and I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to praise Bioware for the fact that the outfits in Inquisition for Women are not overly sexualized. And I do also, I, I agree, I agree, I love that. And also the fact that some of the men's clothing is sexualized. 
That is pretty great. Yeah. <gasps> that makes me happy. And, and and I will be entirely honest. I'm kind of getting tired of the where when you look at a a, fem, uh, at a male character's lower regions. It's a guy named Kendall. It's just a flat bump. Which is okay. one reason I like the Saints Row games. You can change their fucking package size. And it actually looks like a package, too. Exactly! It's not like a fucking bump. There's shape to it. Yeah! And my thing is, okay, maybe I don't have to have, like, a slider to change how big it is. That's, you know, kind of <sighs> getting into, you know, macho bullshit territory. That's getting into silly shit, but... But it would be nice for it to look a little more realistic, like the characters have something down there. Yeah, exactly. Instead of just being dolls. Yeah, you instead know. of, like, the, the, I'm sorry, but I highly doubt every single fucking character has a jock strap or cup that can cover their junk. Yeah. To give and, that smoothness, and I know for a fact Bull doesn't. You know, and that's just my, that's just my thought on it. Um, my thought on it is that I'm glad that Bioware does this. I'm glad that our characters, that our female characters aren't just drowning in nudity. And, you know, shitty armor that doesn't actually fucking work. But at the same time, could you make it a little cuter? <laughs> I love you guys. I love Bioware. I love Bioware. And I love Mass Effect. The whole series. I love Inquisition. I love your games. You're fucking amazing. And I love that you don't overly sexualize, you know, female characters. And that you sexualize a lot of the men. Mm -hmm. And I think that's fucking amazing. And, and I'll I'll just be flat honest. But I want bigger boobs. And, and I'll just be flat honest. You can sexualize me all you want. Men, you know, males. It, we should be comfortable in ourselves enough by now that if women can be overly sexualized in the media, so can we. Um, yeah, and I mean, there's instances where men are extremely sexualized, but yeah. they are too few and too far between. Calvin Klein just ain't, uh, ain't enough. No. Although hot... Damn, killing Lutz on that shit and fucking. Damn, mango, man, man, can, I can't fucking say that bitch's last name. Magic Mike. Um, Magic Mike was one of the shittiest fucking movies I've ever seen plot wise. Are you talking tell about the guy that played Alcide? Yeah, Alcide. Uh, Joe Manganiello, I think. Magan his name is. Magna I, see, I can't fucking say I'm it. I'm totally gonna butcher that, but. Um, He's what, delicious. What is, our, what is our time at? Uh, our time is actually at 27 minutes and 35 seconds. Whoopsie! Okay, well then, I'm just gonna, uh, close this out a little bit here. Um, this is going to be the first episode of what we're going to call Phoenix and Glitchy's Gaming Corner. Correct. Um, we're gonna talk about various issues in games. We're I'm gonna play gonna... some games. Or at I'm least I will. Yeah. Um... Hey, vote for Slender! I, vote for Slender for me to play Slender and him to have to edit I, it. I'm sorry. Ah! I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna flat refuse right there. Bad. If you want her to do it, she's gonna have to edit it herself. No! Too much chicken. No! Too much chicken. Don't, I, I'm sorry. don't I'm make me not. edit it out on my own. I don't know how to edit. This is how our... Well, this don't is make how me it, annotate this it. Is, so there. This is the split of our workload. I record the videos. I put the sound up, I get the pictures, and, you know, he'll get pictures, too, if we need them, you know, if he finds something amazing and whatnot, and I work with making sure they get uploaded, and what needs to be done needs to be done to get this, the ball rolling, and then he does the shit that I can, am completely incapable of doing. He makes sure that there's annotations, because trust me, if I did the annotations, there would be annotations all the time, everywhere covering the fucking screen because <laughs> i either think too much shit's been left out or i think you know did i point that out did i point that out do i need to point that out Shit! i don't know um but and honestly there's a whole lot we'll do in these videos but i'm too much of a fucking chicken to do horror games so ah, as much as you guys as much as you guys want it, Glitchy gets away with a whole lot from me, but I'm not. I <laughs> hey, refuse. we watched the playable the trailers together, which because, burst, burst because the statement. Because you fucking statement. made me. Because you fucking made you love me. me. You love me. Which you birthed fucking... the statement. Fuck my hand, hold me! Hold me. Yeah. <laughs> 
and, and I'm just gonna say that's about as far as I'm going on the horror train because <laughs> that shit scared me. And it, I had nightmares. I literally weeks. only made it through a second watching of the playable trailer done by Markiplier and Jacksepticeye because it was so fucking hilarious watching my cohort. Um, but yeah, this is the <sighs> gaming corner. Um, we're gonna probably episode talk about episode one. <laughs> We're totally going to talk about other um, aspects of the gaming industry, yeah. aspects of games. Um, I'm probably going to rip on Dark Souls and Assassin's Creed a couple more times Yay. before we're done. Um, and I'm going to rip on shitty fucking... <laughs> I don't even know. And, but, and you know, uh, honestly... Maps! Ooh! Maps! And, and honestly, you know... No, I'm not sorry about it because I'm not I know there I know there are people that like Assassin's Creed. And I know there, know there are people that like um, Dark Souls, but mm -mm. the fact of the matter is, there's issues in those games, and the fact of the matter is, I'm just not a fan. So I'm entitled to my opinion, just as you're entitled to yours. If you don't like so, what we're saying, make your own videos. And, right. and you know, that's just how it is. Mm -hmm. So. Um, thank you guys for watching. Comment and let us know what topics you want to see. And as always, thank you for watching and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!